So this is a Class A lamp pan. It's used to measure evaporation. We'll make measurements of the water surface at different times, and by taking the difference in elevation over a difference in time, we can get an evaporation rate. This is a, an evaporation rate that's um, determined from out of this standard pan, and then what's been done is that evaporation rate has been correlated to the evapotranspiration from a variety of different crops. So we can use the measurement of evaporation from this pan to estimate what the evapotranspiration is from different crops. So the key to the measurement from the pan is to make the um, is to measure the depth with um, a high degree of accuracy. And that can be tricky because if you try to measure the depth um, from say using a, a measurement implement that goes down from the water from the, the top, uh, you'll find that the surface tension will adhere to the, the measurement device and make the uh, determination of the water surface difficult. So the procedure is to use what's called a hook gauge. And this is a hook gauge. And you can see why it's called a hook gauge. It has a hook here. And this tip is what's used to measure the water surface. And so it goes into the water, and to make a measurement then, you adjust this hook gauge, so you um, bring the submerged hook up until the tip of the hook touches the water surface. So I'll go ahead and do that. This is on a threaded rod, so I can turn this knob here, and it, I'll move the hook gauge up. And what I'm doing is looking down here at the tip of the hook and uh, getting a reflection off the surface. And I can see when that hook comes up and just touches the surface because it alters the reflection on the surface of the water. So we do that and that looks like we have the hook just barely touching. So now to make the measurement, what I need to do is make a measurement that I can compare to the next measurement. And so the way that this hook is set up is I have a standard, I have a flat surface here and a flat surface here, and I'm gonna use these calipers to measure the distance between those flat surfaces. So I can do that. The calipers are set up so that this side measures an internal gap and this side measures uh, external. So I'll use the external side and I'll put them on these two flat surfaces. I have arrows marked here so I know right where to put these tips. And I do that. And I get a reading. Now, in order to measure this, the scale right here is in inches and tenths of an inch. So I can look at this scale and get the measurement to the nearest tenth. And then I use the dial to get it to the nearest 1,000. So this reading is 0 0.9, uh, 0 0.9 inches, so 9 tenths. And then I add to that, um, well, this one full sweep around this dial is 1 tenth of an inch. Uh, it's graduated into uh, 100 parts. So each one of these small ticks on this dial is a thousandth of an inch. So the reading that I have here is 0 0.910. So that's to the nearest thousandth of an inch. Okay, so that's our first reading. And I'm gonna go and write that down in my book. Okay, so my first reading was 0 0.910. We need to be able to make this measurement fairly precisely. And so what I'm gonna do is make repeat measurements and see how close my measurement, uh, see basically what the precision is, how many, how big a span the repeat measurements would cover. So what I'm gonna do is turn this counterclockwise, a couple of turns, that'll move it down, and then I'm gonna go back here and make another measurement. And So I set it up so that the hook gauge is on the side of this base right here. 
and then I'm going to turn the knob clockwise to bring the hook up until it just barely touches. Okay, so it just touched there. I'm going to do another reading. Okay, so that's 0.916. So I'll write that down. So I'll do this a few more times, but what's emerging is a, a pattern. The, um, the first one was 0.910, then 0.916, and 0.908. So we, it looks like we have, over these three measurements, uh, a variation from uh, 0.908 to 0.916. That's a variation of eight thousandths of an inch. So that's giving us an idea about what the uncertainty is of this measurement. Uh, for reference, a piece of paper is about three thousandths of an inch. So we're repeatable to within about three sheets of paper, which is pretty good. So what, we'll, what we can do then is wait for some evaporation to occur and measure again. And then we can, take the, we can subtract the two readings, get the amount that the water surface has changed, and divide by the time to get the evaporation rate.